Surgery is the primary treatment used most often for breast cancer. The techniques that are used include breast sparing surgery, modified radical mastectomy, and in fewer cases, radical mastectomy. One option that's becoming more common is called breast sparing surgery. This procedure is designed to remove the cancer, but not the entire breast. It is also known by several other names, such as breast conserving surgery, lumpectomy, segmental mastectomy, and partial mastectomy. Sometimes, an excisional biopsy can serve as a lumpectomy because the surgeon removes the entire lump. In many cases, the surgeon will remove the lymph nodes under the arm as well. When this is done, a separate incision is made. This procedure is called an axillary lymph node dissection. When examined under a microscope, the lymph nodes reveal whether or not the cancer cells have entered the lymphatic system. Sentinel lymph node biopsy is a newer method of surgery used to check for cancer cells in the lymph nodes. This technique uses dye and a radioactive marker to identify the lymph nodes at highest risk for containing metastatic cells. Using this technique, a surgeon removes fewer lymph nodes, thereby causing fewer side effects. If the provider finds cancer cells in the axillary lymph nodes, an axillary lymph node dissection usually is performed. At this time, the lasting effects removing fewer lymph nodes are unknown. After breast sparing surgery, most women receive radiation therapy to the breast. This treatment is designed to destroy any cancer cells that may remain in the breast. Another type of surgical treatment for breast cancer is known as modified radical mastectomy. Using this technique, the surgeon removes the whole breast and most or all of the lymph nodes under the arm. Often the lining over the chest muscles is also removed. Other small chest muscles are sometimes removed to allow for easier access to the lymph nodes. A less commonly used surgical procedure is called a radical mastectomy. This operation involves the removal of the entire breast or as much of the breast tissue as possible, as well as the underlying chest muscles, including the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. When performing a mastectomy, the surgeon also removes the lymph nodes under the arm. It's interesting to note that studies have found equal survival rates for breast sparing surgery combined with radiation therapy and mastectomy for stage one and stage two breast cancer. Your provider will explain the different types of surgery, compare the benefits and risks of each option, and help you select the procedure that will most effectively treat your cancer.